and welcome back to Kinda Tail Wildcraft. Today I'm gonna be today I'm gonna be making a bento. Now this is a traditional Japanese food, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make one based off the sugar bunnies from Hello Kitty. Let's get started. So the things you will be needing are ham. This is actually optional, but you can use this. Um, cheese for the bow, and seaweed for the details. So first we are going to make shudoka, and we're just going to be taking some rice. And we are going to be placing it in the plastic wrap. If I can get all the bits off, that is. And we're just going to be covering this, and now we'll be molding it. Just getting a bit more. Now, a fact about the Sugar Bunny is that they actually have their own anime, and I think manga series, which is kind of cool, actually. Now we're just going to be wrapping this up, and now we can start molding it. So as you can see, I am pressing it, and now we should be done. And voila, look at that beauty. And now we are going to be putting this, we have to unravel this very carefully. And we're going to be putting this on here. Look how beautiful that looks. So now we're going to be making the ears. Now keep in mind it's... This is kind of... Um, rice is kind of sticky, so... You're going to have to get some off of here. And it's a very dirty process. So now we have the finished structure of the body. So now we are going to be adding the details. We got some ham right here. The insides of the ears. And right where the face is going to be, we're going to add some cheeks there. And that's the hand part. And now we're going to add a bow right there. Looks nice. And now we're going to be making the face. And the, the face is basically made out of seaweed. And this is it right here. So these are going to be eye the eyes. And now I'm going to be making the other one. Now I'm going to be adding the other eye. And we're also going to be decorating the bow. to the bottom and one for the middle and one up here and there we go and this is Shiroka
So now I'm going to be making carosa, and I have some cinnamon and to make brown. I'm just going to be adding this in, and I'm going to be mixing this. Get that nice brown. Also, you want to save up, save up some of the white um, rice, because this will make carosa's spots by her mouth. So now we are going to be doing the same thing that we did with the other one. This one here. Now I think I did a pretty good job here, and now I think we're done. Oops. So now I have completed the ears and the mouth, and now I'm going to be adding the finishing touches. Have the eyes, and we're also gonna put his. I'm also gonna get his cheeks. Bam. Also, we're gonna need to adjust the eyes for the bow. Now we're going to add the dots on the bow. One. And these are also going to be different patterned. Two. Three. And four. And we're also going to be adding, adding the insides of the ears. And now we're done. Look how beautiful that looks. So now for the sake of this video, I am going to try one of them. Mmm, delicious. Thank you for watching. And remember, stay cooking, everyone. Bye!